Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, I am showing you my brand new kitchen. Whew. This video is in partnership with European Bath. They are a Las Vegas local showroom that really kind of helped me to complete this project from start to finish. I don't know how anyone could tackle a kitchen project without the help of like a professional. And the best part about European Bath is like, they don't charge you anything extra if you shop with them or work with them. And actually, if you are needing some faucets, sinks, marble countertops, quartz countertops, anything you need for a kitchen or a bathroom remodel, European Bath is your go-to place. It doesn't matter if you don't live here, you can place an order with them, mention my name, and you will get a huge discount. I believe up to 30% off on your order. So keep that in mind while we are touring my brand new kitchen. I will leave European Bath's social channels down below and all of the links just in case you're interested. And whew, without further ado, let's go and see my kitchen. Right, everyone, here is the kitchen and whew, it's a little windy outside, so pardon the noise. Hopefully you don't hear it too much. It is complete, it is done, it is, it is here. And as you can see, it's actually a very small kitchen. And what I wanted to do with this project was to just upgrade what we already have here in my home and kind of make it a little more luxurious a little bit more my style, and the catalyst for this project was definitely the countertops. This is Calicetta Pionazzo. It's from Italy, it is gorgeous, it is stunning. And when I was in the stone yards, it like caught my eye. Like I saw it and I was like, oh, hello, who is that? I wanna know more about her. Now, funny story about the marble. It was actually a discontinued, um, piece from Walker Zanger and they only had like a slab and a half left and I made a huge mistake on not measuring my backsplash because my original idea was to get a full marble backsplash um, with Pionazzo and girl. Okay, big rookie move. We did not have enough backsplash so I actually had to get creative and think of something that was a little bit different, a little bit special, um, and just like something that not everyone is doing in their kitchen. So for the backsplash, we actually went for the most beautiful stone finish ceramic tiles that are fluted from Spain. They are by Wow Designs. And it really just gave the kitchen this like tactile and textural element that like my eyes are constantly looking for. And then a detail that I did not spill during the vlogs was we actually also took the fluted tile and put it onto the base of the island. The marble mistake that I did in the beginning actually gave me a opportunity to have fun with this project. I was inspired by Scandinavian designs, European designs, and some of my favorite um, designers like Athena Calderon, Nate 
Berkus and Jeremiah Brent. I styled the kitchen in a more minimal way. That way you can see the beauty of the materials rather than having a bunch of clutter. Um, even though this is basically how we keep it all the time, I don't want it to be like full of stuff on the countertops, but let's talk about this faucet, okay? This is the Rook faucet from Brizo. It is so beautiful. It's sculptural and really practical at the same time. It like just comes out and I can turn it on. I can wash the sink. I can do a little shower moment. Okay, we love that. The sink actually got a huge upgrade. We used to have the builder grade sink with like the divider and this time we have a Kohler single basin sink, is that what you call it? I don't know. Anyway, it's Kohler, it's beautiful. By the way, I'm doing a mixed metal moment in the kitchen and I will tell you why. I didn't want to get rid of the microwave. I didn't want to get rid of our appliances. So I wanted to work with what we already have. And again, the catalyst was um, my marble countertops and Pionazzo has the most incredible silver, black, and gold veining. So I used that as a color palette for the design of my kitchen. I created harmony with the materials. And even though I have this microwave, which is not really like the prettiest looking thing in the world, right? It's practical, we use it every day, but everything matches because of my countertop. Oh my gosh, I have to show you this little towel bar thing. So. Anytime I'm like washing my hands, I'm usually going for um, paper towels. But ever since I bought this little thing from Amazon, I can just put my towel right here, okay? Boom, I don't have to use a bunch of paper towels. I don't have to go to the oven to do that. I can just put it right here. So I will link this Amazon towel rack for you down below. They only had silver at the time when I ordered it, but it comes in a bunch of colors. And everything else that I'm gonna be sharing today, fixtures, the marble, they will be all down below in my description box. Okay, so let's just go back to the marble countertops. We partnered up with Tough Skin, and they are a company that seals your marble. There's no etching, no staining. And they guarantee their products to last for up to 10 years. And imagine like a protective film that goes on your phone but it goes on top of marble. Something that you guys kept telling me while we were vlogging this experience was like, don't go for marble. It stains, it etches, it scratches, it's like a nightmare. But there's nothing like marble, you guys. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, marble is so played out. Marble is this, marble is that. Well, Billie Jean, Sally Sue, you're just not picking the right marble, okay? And you're not picking the right um, sealers for your stones. Now, tough skin, Okay, I left a stain right here on the countertops for like two, three days, and it is fine. Actually, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna wipe it off with just a paper towel and some water. Let me bring the camera over here. Okay, do we see all of these stains? This is from coffee, this is from matcha. Any old marble, it would have been done, but since it's protected by tough skin, I literally just need to get some water, okay? Wipe it. There are no stains, no etching, and the countertops are good as new. Ooh, I forgot. Another thing I wanna show you over here. I ordered this organizer from Amazon for my knives because I feel like knives are ugly and I couldn't find one that was like cute to have on display. So I got this from Amazon, it was like $30. And now I don't have to stare at them. It looks good, it looks pretty and organized and it's really chic. Anyway, let's get back to the tour. Over here I have my Simone Bodmer piece. I love adding like a sculptural 
um, element in the kitchen, even though it's just for decor. I have some salt and pepper mills. This is a cute little um, salt little cup or mug that we got from a store in California. And then I have a vintage vessel right over here from Centered Style, and I use it to house all of my kitchen wooden utensils, all from Target, the utensils. They were super affordable. I'll link them down below here. Oh my gosh, I forgot to talk about my hardware. This is all from Top Knobs. It's the Ellis Collection. It's the most perfect neutral brass hardware because we kept our cabinets white. We didn't, we didn't want to rip them out. We didn't want to paint them. This is perfect. It's not too yellow. It's not too bronzy. It's perfect. It goes with the white and it goes with the countertops. Again, happy we found that. Um, don't forget, you can DM and message European Bath at any time to place an order. And if you mention my name, you'll get like a total of 30% off of your order. Um, that includes all the cabinetry poles, sinks, Kohler, Brizo, faucets, anything you need, okay? Don't forget to check them out. Um, over here, I have an antique Turkish mortar. Um, I don't think I will ever use that to make like chimichurri, but it looks pretty. And then over here, I have some smegs. This is where I um, start my day. I make my matcha, which is super easy on here. I feel like that's it. Oh, and then my rug, I forgot to talk about my rug. My rug is from my friends over at The Citizenry. I really wanted to tone down all of the marble and all of like the fancy luxurious details with a jute rug. You guys know I love a good jute anything. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you sound off in the comments down below and let me know. I wanna thank my friends over at European Bath for partnering with me on this project. I honestly could not have done this without them. Um, and then we have my bathroom renovation coming up. That's gonna be next month, so make sure you keep a lookout for that. Before you go, go ahead and watch my stop buying these videos because it's fun, we have a good time, we laugh. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.